Okay guys, let's see the light. I completely turned off the softboxes and all the lights in the room. I leave only the back window lights because I want to see. If... So let's turn it on. And after a couple of seconds, the light doubled. I think this is where the... Whoa, man, the light is impressive on this uh, projector. As we talk, I want to tell you that I consider myself to get a laser projector. And for the moment, I say pass because the laser projectors, guys, um, have a small distance. If you are putting to the wall, I'm referring to that strict to the projectors, if you are putting exactly to the wall, or to the screen where you want to project, the image size is small. So I will wait for the image size to rise because the laser projector have the biggest contrast and the uh, accurate contrast on the projectors. So let's fit it with HDMI 1. I have a long HDMI cable. So before showing you the image quality and other things, let's start with the remote control, which has light and in the night it's good and um, if uh, I don't know exactly but if you are functioning with the USB-C and uh, um, have uh, some kind of software we will get to there and I will show you if this remote control will control your smartphone when you connect it to USB-C like I told you into the beginning of this review well this remote control be important you know I say in all the reviews of the projector the remote control is not important of course it's not important you just uh, push the power on and leave the projector with the settings made and then the remote control is not important. I think this will be important in to our case uh, today. You have the power on, power off, the auto synchronization, source select, you can select the source. Here you can adjust your uh, image and I see already it's not, uh, it wasn't adjusted uh, like it's supposed to, it had the weird image of the projector you have to adjust it good on your wall especially if you are put it to the ceiling you will not notice into your room this is the main idea uh, okay here you can adjust the angle of uh, this projector here is the menu the info button I think it's okay it's uh, telling you the informations uh, directly into the menu um, the exit button we have the spect ratio pattern blank and it's good that it's blank you see you can put it on blank directly the projector to uh, Acer had this function the Optoma doesn't didn't have the UHD 48 the 3d button is good that they put it 3d button you can use sometimes 3d functions here directly from the remote controls here is for the built-in speaker which I don't know how much you will use this one, but I think this one will work also for the audio out jack. The brightness, contrast, temperature, color, gaming. You have the modes here, gaming, standard, sports and movie. And the echo mode, which will uh, put your projector into the dynamic echo. Super echo plus, interesting. The dynamic echo, it's, I think it's like normal. Interesting, the dynamic echo has the same brightness is why I see it with my eyes as normal if and if uh, this protects the lamp will be great to use the dynamic echo and to have the same brightness as the normal but we will get to the menu and I'm gonna show you okay youtubers whoa is big it's very big the image is so big it's like my Acer uh, I'm trying to calibrate the camera for you to see exactly as I see with my naked eye, the contrast and everything. And from the start, we see a great picture quality. So guys, now I have four meters diagonal, but to that diagonal and to the position where I transmit, where is the projector are uh, three meters 0.6, three meters 0.7, something like this. Is the same at the same uh, angle as my previous Acer H6510 BD and from this position the images are perfect one to each other so the comparison will be great but we will make the comparison later so for now what I'm interested in so first thing 
I want to put the projector on the second screen only and to switch the resolution exactly to 4K.